Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Today I have Sample Saturday once again and there's only a few things that I have been trying out this week. Um, my skin has been freaking out so I decided to kind of ease up on the samples a bit and, and I've used up quite a bit of things so some of them I don't have any more of um, right at the moment but they're probably next week I don't know the next couple weeks might be a little low but then I'm expecting to start using up more and getting more samples rotated through um, so we're gonna start with Redken this is the extreme shampoo and the extreme conditioner and as you can probably tell I have used up the conditioner completely there wasn't very much in here it was it said it was an ounce but it did not seem like an ounce although the shampoo is 1.7 ounces which is kind of odd because you would think they would be the same. Anyway, I really liked these. Um, I especially loved the scent. They smelled like an orange dreamsicle. Um, I still have shampoo left because there's more of it. But yeah, it smells, or like if you ever were a swimmer and you used the Malibu Sea shampoo and conditioner, that's what it smells like. So it has like a citrusy orange scent to it just smells really good. I really enjoyed both of these. These would be ones that I would put on my list of what possible replacements when I finish up all the shampoo I have. The next thing I was using was from Drunk Elephant. This is the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. And I got this in a set with like their C Serum, I think, or their Retinol something. They came in, and I didn't use this one, I used the other one. And I think this is nice. I've been using it the past couple days on my neck and chest as a moisturizer because I'm trying to use up all of the oils, facial oils that I have. And it's really, really thin. So like it took like 10 pumps. I mean, granted it's a larger area than my face, but it absorbs so quickly in there. I felt like I needed to put extra on just to um, get enough everywhere. Um, so yeah, it's it's interesting. I don't think I would probably purchase it because it is so expensive. But if you want a lightweight facial oil, facial oil, that's a good one. Next is an eye balm. This is from Alginist. It's the Complete Eye Renewal Balm. And I actually have two of this. So I thought, oh, this is a good one to start using. Um, it keeps, it doesn't like to look at the cream. But it's a nice balm. I actually really have been enjoying this. Um, it's a good one for day or night. It's not overly emollient, so that's what I find in the like the daytime. I, ha I can't use something that's really creamy. But it's a good one, and it, it moisturizes nice. Then we have from Hanalei. This is the Aloe Soothing Gel. It says it's a soothing oil gel for face and body. I've had it for a while, so that's why I was like, I need to start using it. I think it's fairly good. Um, it's an aloe gel. If I had a sunburn, I think I would be enjoying it more, but it's a, a fairly good moisturizer. Um, I've been using it on my hands. And then finally, I have two perfumes. This first one, it's supposed to be an eau de toilette, so I don't know. It's John Paul Gaultier Le Mail in the Navy, and they're like the, the cool bottles. And I smelled this originally and I thought, yeah, that smells good. Like I could, and then I put it on and I was just like, oh, and I hated it. Um, but my mom told me, she's like, oh, I like that scent. And I was like, I don't like it at all. So I'm going to be passing this one along because um, there's still a lot of it left in there. But yeah, they're not for me. It's a little too masculine of a scent. And then my next one is Kenzo World. This is Eau de Toilette as well. I liked this one, but I didn't get enough of it. I needed, it was really hard to get it out of this packaging. I don't know why, um, but it didn't want to spray out very well. And then it was like in spurts. So I didn't get two uses out of this, which was made me really sad, but I did like the scent of it. I thought it was a nice one. Not probably something that I would actually purchase because um, it's just, it's not something that's that great. And I have so many perfumes, I have to be, little pickier about my scents nowadays but yeah I did enjoy that so I thought it was good those are my samples for this week not a whole lot um, there's some weeks that I had just a ton but I'm not doing quite as many like I said I should have some more coming soon so keep watching 
Also, let me know what you are using and loving. Are there things that you are looking forward to picking up um, in future sales or are you hoping that will go on sale or that will end up in TJ Maxx? That's what I always love. Let me know. I love hearing your thoughts and opinions. I hope you are all having a fantastic day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.